Right, so welcome to Ableton Live. Quick tips number four. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what I would recommend if you've not watched part three, sorry, it's not part three, I keep calling these parts and they're not parts. If you've not watched number three, I would watch that first because I explain a little bit more in detail about the, the follow action stuff that we're doing here. So in the last one, in number three, we looked at using follow action to create some like random glitchy drum fills. Now, another way that I will use uh, follow action is if I want to sort of create a sort of a glitchy random sort of bass part. I've, I've used this on a couple of my tracks. If you check out the track, I think Rise, which is on my first album, first album called version 2.0, there's a track called Rise on there. Um, and I used that in this, which basically I just recorded some of this stuff and it, uh, it, it, it turned into a song. So it's a good, if you're stuck for inspiration, follow action is really, really good and you can do it with anything. Uh, so I'm going to do it with some bass parts. Um, so I've got uh, I got a load of Vengeance samples. Some of these are actually sounding a bit dated now, but if we mash them up a little bit, um, we can we can hopefully get something that sounds okay. It's, sometimes it's a little bit hit and miss. You've got to, you know, you don't always get it straight away, but we'll give it a go. Right. So what I'm going to do is take probably I don't know four. Well, well, well let's say six. I'm going to take six random bass loops. Now you could create your own bass things at random. Obviously, you've got to make sure they're in the same key. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to search through these loops. Okay, so up in the search box here, I'm going to do I'm going to do bass, and I'm going to just randomly search in the key of G. Um, and clearly, I don't know how to spell bass. <laughs> what a tip! Um, right, bass is spelled B A double S, not B double A S. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I'm going to just pick these at random. Right, I'm just going to have a quick listen to them. Just make sure that. Something a little bit more electronic than that. So let's go with dirty electro. I think these will be quite good. Right, I'll do. Right, I was going to drag these into this audio track. So you can see, as long as it's, your root is on G, that's fine. That's on F, so that's no good. That'll do. Um, I want to make sure as well that. Actually, no, I'm going to all try that. If you've got a big gap at the beginning, you might want to get rid of the silence because. Will that trigger? No, I'm going to actually start it there. Just want to make sure it starts at the beginning to start with because I'm going to do it as 16th on the follow action. That'll do. It's nice and glitchy. Uh, oh, bit of old school dubstep. <laughs> that nobody listens to anymore. But hey, let's bring it back. Or no, let's not, perhaps. This is like an offbeat thing. What have we got in here? How many have I got? Uh, I've only got four. I'll try a few more. That oh, was quite a nice sort of long note. That might work. Okay, let's just see what we've got. Right, so same principle as last time. I'm going to highlight them all. Well, we've got six, yep. Um, hold on, let's just get the top one. Okay, now where I am still in... Um, multiple clip mode. I'm not getting the stripy lines here because it's telling me down here that the clips with different lengths are selected. For this purpose, that doesn't matter. Okay, the follow action is still going to work. So down here, as we did before, we're going to select any on the follow action. We're going to do it as one sixteenth note. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let's try two sixteenths. It's not bad. Right, what's that? Okay, now I didn't like that one, right? Because he's doing the wah wah kind of sound. I got rid of that, but the others actually... Actually work pretty good. So, what we'll then do, just to kind of give it a bit of groove. Um, let's stick a drum loop in. Let's pick something at random. Um, what have we got in here? Da, 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 da. Oh, for God's sake. All I want is a drum loop. Let's, let's search. Drum loop. Uh. Okay. Shouldn't be a lot to us, just go right at the top. There's got to be one first thing. First thing we come to, drum mix, that'll do. 
That'll do, nice and cheesy. Right, so if I play these together... Genius. Okay, so you see that one actually worked quite well, right? There's a there's a song in there, and obviously all these are warped, so you can speed it up and slow it down. Uh, that follow action is on two sixteen. So let's just try it as one sixteen. That kind of works on either. Okay, so then what we could do is if you don't, um, you know, want to have that randomness too much, I mean, you can obviously record it. I'm just going to record a bit in a section. Then you can take sections and loop it. If you want it just to be completely random, which I think works quite well on this, just record it. Uh, let's just do 16 bars of that loop and we'll see what we come up with. So there is our 16 bars. So again, obviously we've got loads of an absolute ton of um, separate clips here. So what I'll do is... Just consolidate that. So it's just one clip. And then obviously you can copy and, and paste bits that you like, that you take bits out that you don't like, but that actually just work quite well. Um, then you can start to put like... A bit of Lay on there, so on the and then just trim it down to your sixteen bars, just go from the start. Okay, so that actually that came out pretty well. Like, so I've done some of these before that have sounded awful. But as long as you get bass parts, like I say, it doesn't have to be bass, it can be anything, but as long as you get parts that are in the same key, and they kind of sound similar, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just, just experiment. Just do what you think would, would work and see what you come up with. Um, you know, sometimes you might have a load of old loop um, samples and files. You know, I've got about 50 odd gigs on this machine that I hardly ever look at. And you listen to some of those and think they sound a bit dated now. But mash them up like that, give it a new kind of lease of life, and you get a nice glitchy bass line. So, again, thanks for watching this one. If you liked it, please like, please share. If you've got any questions or comments, stick them in the box below. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Just keep up to date because I'm going to keep adding these quick tip videos. Um, I don't know, probably two or three of these a month. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.